haven't seen Kelly. No, we've had the police working on it since late last night. Well, just just give me a call if you if you hear anything. Thanks. Ted, where have you been? Everywhere. I've been driving all night, asking at restaurants and the only place I can think of. Nobody's seen her. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. If they have kidnapped her for a ransom, we've been contacted by I don't now. Know. Let me go back out and check again. I just want to know if you guys heard anything or not. Did you look along the beach? Yeah, first thing. But I'll go try again. I right, do it. There's still no answer at this place. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like this at all. I've got a very bad feeling about this situation. Why? What's, why do you feel that way? I don't know how to explain it, honey, but I, I have not liked this Nick person from the beginning. There's something about this man. I'll get it. Uh, yeah, hello, Mr. C. Uh... Unfortunately, we don't have any leads at all. All I can tell you is I did put out an APB on her at 8 o'clock this morning. I want to know what you think about this Nick Hartley. I've been trying to call him. There's no answer at his place. Yeah, he didn't answer his door either when I went over there. Uh, I let myself in. Kelly's car is parked out in back, but neither of them was there. It sounds very suspicious to me. Yeah, I don't know what to make of it, Mr. C. Look, I know he's a friend of yours, but it's beginning to look like he has something to do with this. Well, I doubt that. Well, they're both disappeared, haven't they? There could be a perfectly logical explanation for it, I'm sure. I think it's early to be jumping to conclusions. Well, there's something very strange going on here. And Cruz, I want you to find Nick, and I want you to find out what he knows about Kelly. And I'll bet whatever it is, he's had a hand in this. Should be any You're right now. there. Susanna, I'm sorry, but this is not a very good time to come calling. We're in the middle of a crisis here. I heard about Kelly CC. I'm sorry, but that's not why I'm here. Mama's sick today, and she asked if I'd come by and help out with Brandon. I won't get in your way, I promise. Assuming that all this is all right with you. Of, uh, course. of course, all right. It would be a big help. I'm going to be busy with everything else. Brandon needs to have someone with him. Uh, Mr. C, you want to come over here and uh, look at this? It's the police report on Kelly. The picture you are looking at is that of Kelly Capwell Perkins, who has been missing since 9 o'clock yesterday morning, which is when she was last seen. She is described as having blonde hair, blue eyes, is 5 feet 6 inches tall, and weighs approximately 110 pounds. Anyone having any information as to her whereabouts is asked to call this number, area code 805-555-9627. Kelly... Again, if you have seen this girl or can provide she was any here. information I saw her in where office. she might be, we ask you to call this number and report that information. Area code 805-555-9627. This has been a simulcast on local Santa Barbara radio and television. And now we return you to our programs in progress. You don't have to hang up on my account. Uh, no, I was going to make a personal call. Uh, I can do it any time. Are there any messages? Yes, a uh, few. Okay. Oh, these don't look important. Listen, if uh, anybody calls me, I'm going to be making some important calls of my own. So just hold them, get their number, and I'll call them back. All right? Yes, sir. saying hi to everybody, that's all. What's wrong with the family? They've been okay to me. Well, it just simplifies things. Is, uh, they can run? Uh, the shower. You look like you could use a little cleaning up yourself. Yeah. What happened? Look like you've been up all night. Wait a minute. There was a party and you didn't tell me about it? No, they, uh, they just haven't found Kelly yet, that's all. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I should have asked. Of course, you're not gonna sleep. I'm, s I'm sorry. You know, I love her more than anything. I swear, if anything happens to her... I don't know what I'm going to 
Je ressens tel. Tu as une sœur Je n'ai pas idée. Tu n'as jamais vu parler de ta famille beaucoup. Well, there are not much to talk about. <laughs> They're kind of plain and ordinary and, you know, the kind of people who never even get a second look, not like you guys. Yeah, it was your sister. I mean, did you see her much? Mm, no, not that much. She kind of tries to stay away from us all. Oh, well, that's too bad. No, it's no problem. I, I kind of like adopting new families. Like the Lockridges. They're really nice people. See, when you're born, you really don't have a choice who you get stuck with. But like with these people, I have a choice. Yes? Oh, hey, come here. Mm. Oh. Oh, have they heard anything? No, not yet. I'm so sorry. Well, uh, well listen, I gotta be going. Nice seeing you, Ted. Okay, see you later. You okay? I don't know anymore. All right, in the chair, Hartley. Come on, now. around 11 o'clock the morning of the day she disappeared. Amy, where? Tell us. I caught her and her friend Nick in Jack Lee's office. They were going through his files. Going through his files? I can't I believe, believe it. I was so surprised. I didn't know what to do. Uh, Kelly's excuse not the kind me, of Amy, Amy, did, did, did you try asking them what they were doing? Well, yes, I did. And what did they say? Well, they said, well, Nick said that they thought Jack was involved in something illegal, that he wasn't the, quote, upstanding citizen everybody thought he was. Well, that's ridiculous. I know. That's you exactly. and I both And what did, I did you do? I know. What did you well, do? I had to tell Jack Lee about it, and he was really nice. He said not to worry about it, and he'd take care of it. He'd, he'd take care cool of it? Guy, you know? He said he'd take care of it? Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, Cruz, you don't think Jack Lee had anything to do with Kelly's disappearance? Well, I don't know, Amy, but I'm going to find out. Thank you for calling us. Come on, Eden. Where are you going? Come on! Then maybe I won't be any real help, but still I'd like to be with you when you're going to look for Kelly, okay? All right. I'm ready. Well, I really appreciate you coming along. Well, she said spies are better than one, right? Ah, but this time we go down the stairs because I don't think I'm ready for that climb, all right? Yeah, no arguments <laughs> here. What do you mean he got away? The whole idea was to prevent that, to knock the fight out of him so he couldn't... I don't understand it myself. The whole thing was supposed to break his spirit, and instead he's now twice as angry. So what are you doing? Just letting him go? No, don't be silly. I've sent Chuck and James after him. Don't worry, they'll find him. Right, no, understand. I do not want him killed. He will not be killed except as a last resort. You better be able to prove that it was a last resort if it happens. But what about you? What are your plans now? I'll be leaving for the silo in a few minutes. All right. I'll meet you there. Meanwhile, I've got other travel plans to make. All right, somebody's at the door. I'll keep in touch. Yeah, come in. Just a minute. Yeah. Wait, um, Mr. Lee, uh, Inspector oh. Castillo and Eden. Yes, of course. Mr. Castillo, Eden, come on in and make yourself comfortable. Uh, this isn't a social visit, Mr. Lee. I'm here to ask you a couple of questions, actually. Chased by some people, they want to kill me. I, I just came in here for some shelter. I I'm sorry, I didn't realize anyone was here. What is this? Who's he? He says he's being chased by someone. I don't know whether to believe him or not. It's the truth, I swear it. Uh, 
Can I please use your phone? It doesn't work. The storm has knocked down telephone lines all over around the area. How long do you think before they'll be able to fix the lines, huh? Probably two or three days it was last time. Well, at least could I, I just hide here. They're right behind me. They should be here any second. Please. What have you done? They killed somebody. And I know about it. How do we know it wasn't you that killed somebody? It's not to believe me. It's the truth, I swear it. He has and after I make a phone call, I can prove it to you. He has a good face. I believe him. All right. You can hide back there, in the hay. Thank you. It will be all right. People have helped us in the past. Maybe now we return the favor. Besides, he doesn't look very dangerous to me. Dangerous people don't always look dangerous. It would be easier if they did. Did you see anybody coming in the, anywhere out here in the last few minutes? Anyone? Who do you mean? We're looking for a young guy. Slender, light brown hair. Probably looks a little beaten up. And who are you? Why are you looking for him? Look, we're from the police, buddy. The man we're looking for is an escaped criminal. So if you know anything about him, you better tell us. Otherwise, you could get in a lot of trouble yourselves. Are you really with the police department? That's right, Santa Barbara PD. <laughs> We've been chasing this guy for a week. Now, we know that he's in this area, and this is the most logical place for him to come in and try and hide. I don't understand. Well, why do you want him? Well, you don't have to understand. We're from the police, and that... Because, lady, he's a killer. Okay? Now, I gotta warn you about this. He seems very friendly to talk to. But he's a stone-cold killer. You turn your back on this man, and you're as good as dead. I mean it. He has nobody to mess with. Seriously, now, take my word for it. Have you seen anybody that looks like him around here this morning? I, uh, I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Uh, besides, there's no one had been around here for many weeks. We live very quietly. I'm sorry. We cannot help you. All right, Chuck. We're wasting our time. Let's go. Thank you. You didn't say you were wanted by the police. I'm not. Those two men are not real policemen. I give you my word of honor. They're only posing as the police. Those look like marks that uh, are made by handcuffs to me. No, no. They tied me up. I found a piece of glass and I cut the ropes with it. I had to escape. Why? Who are they? If, if it's not police, who were you escaping from? A young girl and I were kidnapped and held by them, and then they... They killed her. Please, is there any way you can just get me into town uh, to a police station, a sheriff's office, somebody? You see, I want to go to the police, and that way you could ease your own minds, and uh, you would be helping me at the same time. No, we cannot take you. After that storm, it would be too dangerous for the car. Well, could you just please tell me how to get to town, uh, and I'll, I'll walk? It's a long way. The, 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 the roads are washed away by the storm. You, but uh, you may stay here if you wish, here in the barn. Are you sure? Anh đi sao? Giúp họ chắc không sao đâu anh. All right. You can stay, but only for one night. In the morning, we want you to be gone. Thank you. Thank you very much for for your help and for trusting me. Thank you. I don't know how much I trust you, but my wife wants us to help you. So we are taking the chance. You had better sleep now. We will leave you alone. Come soon. Thank you. I mean that.
answers no yet. I'm going to get them for what they did to Kelly. I'm going to kill them. Kelly? Missing? You don't think she was kidnapped, do you? I don't know what to think at the moment. I, uh, I don't know. So why don't you tell us about this break-in? Uh, Amy says you told her you'd handle it? Yes, yes, that's true. Uh-huh. Well, I'd like to know what Nick and Kelly were looking for here, and I'd like to know what you meant by saying you'd handle it. Well, I have absolutely no idea what they were looking for in here. I called the police, and after I called the police, I called this Nick character to tell him I'd reported it, ask him why he was here, and he became extremely abusive of me. Really? In what way? Verbally, I mean. He, he uh, called me, for one thing, a typical capitalist, money-grubbing pig. Uh, after I heard that, I thought, well, maybe this whole thing uh, was politically motivated. Uh, he is a Vietnam veteran, is he not? And you hear these terrible stories about these men who have come back. I thought, well, perhaps he's become slightly unhinged by his war experience. That still doesn't explain what Kelly was doing here with him. No, you're absolutely right. It doesn't. Well, these people can be very persuasive, though. Maybe he's won her over to his viewpoint. Yeah, well, I'm still curious to know what you meant by saying you'd handle it. Oh, I just meant that I would, I would call the police, which I did. I left Kelly's name out of it, being a good friend of the family and all that. And then afterwards, I called Nick himself. And, and that's when he became abusive, abusive to you over the phone? Absolutely. It was like he just he went absolutely crazy. He said he would pay me back if it was the last thing he'd do. He, he'd get even with me. He cursed out. I mean, it was like listening to a man having a nervous breakdown over the phone. How odd. You know, that doesn't sound a thing like the Nick I know. Well, Cruz, you haven't seen him in a few years. I mean, I, I thought he was strange when I met him the first time. Well, I think it goes a little bit deeper than that, even. I'm afraid he has very serious psychological problems. Look, would you please uh, give my sympathies to your father? Tell him I will stop by later today and offer whatever help I can give. Oh, well, you've, you've been uh, very helpful already oh, answering no. these questions, really. Cruz, I don't think there's any more questions, is there? No, no, I don't think there are any more at the moment. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lee. Oh, my pleasure. I just, I wish you luck, and I pray that this young man has done nothing to hurt Kelly. I'm praying for the same thing. Would thank you, Amy. Bye. Bye. Yes, thanks again for your time. Amy. Goodbye. Mr. Lee, I am so very sorry. I didn't mean for them to come in here and accuse you oh, of anything. No, Amy, that's perfectly all right. Listen, actually, I don't blame you for not trusting me. I think it's because of Brick, isn't it? I know he doesn't trust me, although I can't <laughs> understand why. No, really, I don't, I don't want you to feel that I'm upset about this. I'm not. Okay. You did exactly the right thing by calling the police, and now the matter is completely taken care of. I just wish that I just... I would so much like for you to trust me from here on out. It's awful hard to help you, you know? I will never doubt you again. Thank you. Sorry. Well, the thing is, son, that we don't know what's happened to Kelly. She's going to be fine when we find her, but the problem is right now we're finding her. But she's really all right? Oh, of course. Of course. Nothing for you to worry about. Then I can go out and play. Absolutely. Now, you go out and have some fun, but stay close to the house, all right? I will. I think I better go keep an eye on him. Santana, a moment. I'm, uh... I want to thank you for coming over to help. I, it was a little brusque earlier. I'm, I didn't mean to be. That's okay, Cece. I'm glad I could come and help. I just wish there was something I could do to help you find Kelly. Oh, that girl, I... I love her so much. I'm sorry, forgive me. There isn't anything to forgive. See, see, it isn't a sign of weakness to worry about someone that you love or to be afraid for them, nor is it a disgrace to admit when you made a mistake. What do you mean? I'm talking about Gina. What about Gina? Well, I know how a woman like that could win you over, and it's just that if she hasn't been what you thought she was, well, I, I think it's better if you just face it, don't oh, you think just, so? Oh, just a minute. You're... Gina's a fine woman. She happens to be sick right now, but that's hardly her fault. She's going to recover and be well again, and even stronger. Are you sure? What happens if she doesn't? What's going to happen with my son? Brandon is mine, and you'd better get used to that fact. He belongs to Gina and me, legally. 
I'm not talking about legality, Cece. I'm talking about love and who can best care for him. I'm not going to have this conversation with you again, Santana. The question of where Brandon is going to stay and where he belongs is here. Santana? Brandon, what? Is something wrong? You, going, you said you were going to play outside with me. Yes, I did. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Why don't you and I go upstairs and we'll find a game we can play together, okay? Okay. to find you. It's been such a long time. How are you? Are you well? Are you happy? Uh, I'm just fine. Look at me. I've never been better. Yes, you do look well. Why are you in Santa Barbara? <laughs> well, obviously, I came to find you. But first, I went home and I had a long talk with your mother. She's very worried about you, Christy. But there's nothing to worry about. Look at me. I, I'm fine. Yes. Well, thank heavens you do. But, you know, we don't know that if we don't hear from you. When are you going to come home and see your family, Christy? Please, don't do that to me. I don't want to go home. I can't. Are you still angry because of your mother's drinking? Uh, I'm mad about a lot of things. She's stopped now, you know. <laughs> How many times have I heard that? This time it's true. But I think you would help her if you came home and she didn't have to worry about you anymore. But she doesn't worry about me. And I don't worry about them either. You're her sister. You're always on her side. I want to be alone now. I want to be away. I got a great family here, and they care about what happens to so me. So do we. So do we, no matter what you think. And, Christy, no one will ever care for you like your own people. I'm sorry. Unless you can guarantee that my real family is going to be back together again, I'm not interested. Oh, Christy. Christy, you make this so difficult. Will you at least call her? Will you at least talk to her? No, I already did that. You know what she did? She asked for money. Oh. Not even an I love you. Hey, Christy. Oh, Ted, like if, uh, listen, where are you guys headed to? We're looking for Kelly. Yeah, we just got um, this Hold on a second. I'll, I'll be with you, okay? Listen, it was really nice seeing you. I'm, I'm glad you found me. But I'm okay. Don't worry. Okay? Uh, just some lady. She was collecting for charity. Hey, listen, why don't we go up to the Orient Express? I can get you guys something to eat, and you can use the phone up there. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. What did they say? Well, apparently Mr. Lee was telling the truth. He did file a police report, and he didn't mention Kelly. So maybe he really was covering up for the family, like he said. Not that I'd expect a man in his position to be lying or anything, but, uh... I can't believe you could seriously think that Kelly would do anything illegal. I don't. I don't, but it, obviously something strange is going on. Of course it is. It's your friend Nick. He's gone bananas, just like Jack Lee said. Eden, I know the man. That couldn't have been what happened. Oh, I guess you think all your friends are magically protected. They don't have breakdowns, right? If Nick was going to crack up, he'd have done it a long time ago. Well, let me tell Leave you me. what I think. I thought he was strange when I met him, and Kelly did too. And if they were in Jack Lee's office, it was Nick's doing, and Nick's alone. Kelly would never do anything like that. The thing I'm worried about is what Nick had to do to get her there. You know how vulnerable she's been since Joe died, and, she, and Marcello had her believing in him. I think Nick is using her the same way You know, it's, it's not going to get us anywhere standing around here trying to invent things that could have happened. We need to get out and actually find out what did happen, all right? A little speculation is not going to do any harm. I mean, how can we possibly go out there and find out what happened if we don't start looking for what did? Next time I have uh, a free month, I'll ask you to explain that theory to me in greater detail. But for now, let's get a move on, shall we? Oh, hello again. Just on my way over to your father's, Hi. see what I can do to help. Oh, no. Uh, you've done more than help, honestly. Uh, listen, I, I hope we didn't say anything to offend you. No. No, of course not. <laughs> Mr. Castillo here is just doing his job. The important thing right now is to get Kelly back home. That's all any of us should be concerned about right now. Thank you. Hello? 
Hello? I didn't mean to wake you. I, I brought some food in case you were hungry. Oh, that's very kind of you. And yes, I am very hungry. This should help, then. You must forgive my husband. He is suspicious of strangers. No, I can't blame him for that. Especially a desperate-looking character like me. You may be desperate, but I don't think you are very dangerous. At least, I uh, hope not. Please, now, eat. Thank you. Tell me about the people you are running from. You said they killed someone. The less you know, the safer you're going to be. I don't want any harm to come to you. Those two men that came in here, they are very bad men. And if they should come back, you must be very, very careful. I don't understand what it is they are after. What do they want of you? To be honest with you, I really don't know. I don't think it was me originally that they really cared about. They wanted Kelly, but... Kelly? Is that the girl that you mentioned before? The one they killed? She was very young and very beautiful. Innocent, trusting. And I had sworn to protect her. What happened was completely my fault. And I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive myself. Are you sure it was your fault she was killed? What did you do? There was nothing I could do. That's the terrible part about it. I was there, helpless. And I couldn't save her. Then you cannot blame yourself. My husband and I, we have seen people die too friends of ours. We were unable to help them also. I know. I was in Vietnam. I'm sure you have lost friends you were close to. Yes. But it was never anything like losing Kelly. I can't explain. It's no need. But I wish I knew the words to comfort you. I will come back and uh, take the things away when you have finished. Then I think you should need some more sleep. Are you warm enough? Yes, I'm fine here. The straw is very warm. You've been wonderful, and this food is great. Thank you. There's some hot tea there, too. Eat well. Escaping takes great strength. Get away from us this time. Might as well show yourself, pal. We're gonna find you anyway. The tougher you make it on us, the tougher we're gonna make it on you. Has anybody heard anything yet? 
Nothing. Your father's in the study working by the phone, just waiting and hoping. All right, uh, come on, I'm going to go talk to him. Uh, Christy, mind waiting here? He's probably pretty upset right now. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Thanks. Um. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Christy. Hi, Christy. I'm Santana. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is really awful, isn't it? Yes, it is. Are you the new maid here? Not quite. My mother is a housekeeper here, but she's sick today, so I'm filling in for her a little. Oh, Rosa. Yeah, I met her once. She's a real nice lady. Thank you. She's really your mother. <laughs> uh-huh. Would you like to come in and sit down? Uh, yeah, thanks. I would. <laughs> oh, can you believe this place? Could you imagine living in this place like this? <laughs> I can do a lot more than imagine. I grew up here. You're kidding. You grew up here, really? You've been a servant all your life? You don't look like a servant. <laughs> you know, I hate to spoil your theory on the working class, but I'm not a servant. I'm an interior decorator. You see, my mother and father have worked for the Capitals a number of years. That's what I meant about growing up in this house. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I just, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have grown up in this house. Servant or no servant. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not too late. You're still young. What, you mean to grow up? No, I mean to live in a house like this. Oh, I hope not. I'd give anything to be this rich and have all this around me every day. I came very close once. You did? What happened? No, oh, I don't know. I guess it's a little like the story of Icarus. I just flew just a bit too close to the sun. Anyway, I'm not sure that everyone is meant to have all this. Well, I am. I'm meant to have everything I can get my hands on. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I am. See, it's written in the stars. My mother, when I was a kid, she took me to this fortune teller, a very famous one. And she read all these cards and she drew up this big chart. And then she said that, I, that when I was older, I'd be rich and famous. I don't know if you believe in fortunes, but I do. I have to get that, excuse me, even though I'm only filling in. Yes, I'm here to see Mr. Castle. Oh, see Jack, you. good to see you all. I was hoping it was someone with some news about Kelly. Well, I wish I had it to give you, Cece. I just came by to offer whatever assistance I can. Cruz Castillo and Eden came by my office, told me what happened. I could not be more shocked. I'm afraid we're all in a state of shock at the moment. We can't imagine what's happened to her. There's been no indications at all. Well, actually, my own secretary was the last person to see Kelly alive. Sorry, I, the last person to see her is what I mean. Apparently, she was with this Nick Hartley character, and well, Amy caught them breaking into my office. Nobody can figure out why. Well, we understand now that Nick is missing, too. Yes, I certainly hope he had nothing to do with her disappearance. I get the feeling that the two events are connected somehow. I hope you're wrong. From my experience with this Hartley character, I can tell you he's a very unstable person. I'd be, I'd be extremely upset if anybody I cared about was mixed up with Oh, I'm afraid Kelly is not a very good judge of character. She, uh, she just finds people like this. I know. Well, as I said to Cruz, all we can do is just pray that he hasn't hurt her in any way. I don't blame you a bit for being upset.
Hey, Christy. Oh, God. You oh. scared me. I'm sorry about that. I just wondered if you were getting bored yet. Bored here? Who could ever get bored in this place? It's twice as nice as a Lockridge's house. Oh, I'm glad Lakin didn't hear me say that. <laughs> Where is she? Uh, she's calling home right now. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm so used to this place. I kind of stopped seeing it, you know what I mean? Oh, you'd never catch me forgetting I'd live in this place. <laughs> or letting anyone else forget about it, either. You know, rich people don't know how lucky they have it. Big family loves you. A house the size of a circus tent. <laughs> Talk about having everything. Yeah, well, don't let it throw you. There are a lot more important things in life. Only if they cost more. Well, now, I hope you don't really believe that, Christy. Yeah, I, I hope not, too. But I'll tell you, I wouldn't put it past me. <laughs> Remember, I'm a material girl. Yeah, we'll try to forget, all right? I mean, there are a lot better goals in life than, than things. Tell me, why is it always the rich who tell you money can't buy happiness? You know, rich people can be just as unhappy as poor people. Believe me. Yeah, but the difference is rich, keep, rich people can afford to be unhappy. Okay, excuse me. I'm going to go talk to Lee You see, I can understand how a man like Hartley might become fixated on a girl like Kelly, but if, if all of a sudden he were to start feeling that she didn't like him or that he was unworthy in any way or that she was rejecting him for whatever reason, I, who knows how he would react. Kelly seems to have an instant affinity for men like that. It seems to bring out the maternal side of her. Well, he must be very different with her than he is with the rest of the world because I must confess, his charm escapes me completely. And me. The more and more I'm beginning to think that Nick had something to do with Kelly's disappearance. And Lord help him if he has. I say, Mr. Hartley hasn't been home in, oh, at least two or three days. Uh, well, here it is. Uh, right in there is that room he uses for a dark room. And then uh, there's the kitchen and the bathroom over there. Right, thank you. Uh, we, we won't be very long. Mr. Hartley isn't in any kind of trouble, is he? No, no, I don't think there's any reason to worry about that. We're just trying to locate him. So, uh, thanks again for your help. Oh, well, well, just be sure and lock the door when you go. You bet we will. Did you look at these? Yeah, she's a real photogenic lady, isn't she? Maybe it? he has the same type of obsession with her that Peter did. Oh, come on now. I've had pictures of women in my room. That doesn't make me dangerous. Now, don't try to sit there and protect your neck just because he's a friend of yours. Friendship has nothing to do with innocence. You know, when that hired assassin tried to kill Kelly, it was Nick who stepped forward and saved her life. I think we should keep that in mind. You know, the two things could be connected. Well, somehow. maybe the only reason he saved her life is so he could control it. Huh? I mean, I mean it. This is, this is not normal. Sure, pictures of women, but not, not so many pictures. Look at them. I, I grant you, it's, uh, it's, it's a little unusual. A little unusual. Where's he coming? Yeah. Maybe Jack Lee's theory was right? Hmm? A Vietnam-related flashback or, or experience or something? Let's not start playing army psychiatrist, at least not yet, please. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no criticizing old buddies, huh? What? This, 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 um, color, this is, this is a piece of Kelly's, um, favorite blouse. I know it. We better get the lab to check this out. Come on, Nikki, don't be losing it on me now, brother. Did you hear that scream? He must have went down the well. I can't see anything down there. I know he's dead. I hit him once, maybe twice. Well, maybe one of us should climb down there and make sure. Sure, go right ahead. No way. Well, even if we only clipped him, the fall would break his neck. That's true. He's had it. Too bad he never knew the girl's still alive. Maybe he wouldn't have run away then. Doesn't really matter now. We gotta get out of here. Renko said he'd meet us at the silo. 
말을 캐치는 없이 